begin with a first alert traffic update on the upcoming repairs to the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. Local leaders still working out the details tonight on how to mitigate the inevitable traffic delays once lane closures on the bridge start in late January. WECT Zach Solon heard from officials in New Hanover and Brunswick counties as they prepare for what's expected to be a mess for drivers. Zach, how does the Department of Transportation plan on keeping an eye on any traffic troubles? Fran, the NCDOT says it will have additional crews in what's called IMAP trucks. Those crews survey traffic and provide updates to travel times on apps like Maps and Waze. Meanwhile, county and city leaders are gearing up, working to help drivers handle the traffic. Officials from New Hanover and Brunswick County say drivers need to be ready for significant traffic delays once the inbound lanes on the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge close for repair on January 28th. It's, it's not going to be easy, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is going to be a, a pretty tough uh, time for the next uh, couple of months until we get those repairs done, but they have to be done. Wilmington Mayor Bill Sappho says the city has never seen such a lengthy disruption to traffic patterns. It may take an hour or more to be able to, to get into the community or for people in the community to leave Wilmington to go into Brunswick County. Uh, we don't know as of yet. Uh, uh, you know, we're, this, is good, this is new to all of us, but we feel that it's a significant enough, enough issue that we need to bring it to the forefront. While there are still a lot of unknowns, New Hanover County Emergency Management Director Stephen Still says the county is trying to focus on educating drivers ahead of the headache. Really just to reduce uh, commute times, primarily do everything that we can to make sure that individuals know the detours and the routes and to understand the flexibilities in those detours and routes. Those may change over time and they'll certainly change with the direction of flow over the bridge. Still says the county is preparing for the bridge closure much like it would a hurricane, saying communication is key. It's a regional issue just like tropical storms. You know, we don't operate in a vacuum. Hurricane Florence taught us a lot that we rely very heavily on our partners uh, Pender County and Brunswick County and the state and, and even beyond. So communicating with them is going to be uh, very important. A roadmap officials hope will bring some relief for what's expected to be an unprecedented traffic jam. City and county officials are also using some financial incentives in hopes the repair work can be completed by Memorial Day. If that happens, the contractor could get paid an extra half a million dollars. However, Fran, if the project goes past June 28th, the contractor will lose $6,000 a day for each day the project runs long. Something to keep an eye on once the work starts next month. All right. Thanks so much, Zach.